Hello everybody. Today we're going to be going over portfolio rebalancing specifically within Python. So you might be asking, why is this Excel sheet with a bunch of random numbers up on my screen right now? I think one of the best ways to describe and explain portfolio rebalancing is within Excel, like most financial applications from the start. So portfolio rebalancing in a nutshell is actually a really simple topic. Basically, it's just getting back to the weights you were once at in terms of the allocations of your portfolio. So for instance, you could have a 60-40 split with stocks and bonds. Now over time, those weightings can go up or down depending on the direction of the market and the direction of the individual assets and their price and or value. So in order to get back to the original weights, we can take a strategy in terms of just stocks, for instance, to keep it as simple as possible, to buy or sell more shares to obtain the original weightings. Rebalancing is actually very important. So within your Roth IRA um, or 401k or whatever retirement plan you might have, it's important to, if you actually have some sort of financial advisor looking over it, or you have the ability to change it yourself, to rebalance over time because the weightings will truly uh, differ from what they once were. So it's important because if you want to maintain the 60-40 split, let's say you have 60% in bonds, 40% in stocks, you can obtain that and not have an increased risk uh, risk tolerance. Normally, you would just have the 60-40 split, so you could now have, if the weightings got different, uh, you could have, let's say, 50% in stocks, and you could have a little bit riskier of a portfolio than you might want. So that's the importance of rebalancing in a nutshell. So enough talking, let's go into an example. So let's say we bought Apple, and the current price is $175, uh, and we bought it at 120, and we, they ignore this for a sec. This is the number of shares that are going to be modified. So let's say we bought um, 20 shares from the start. Okay, that makes sense. And let's say we have a portfolio value of $20,000 and the current weight was 17.50% and the prior weight, let's just say, for all intents and purposes, was 12%. So the current weight of Apple in our portfolio is 17.50%. And we want to get back down to 12%. This could be because, I don't know, we might not want that much tech or something like that in our portfolio. So how would we go about solving for the number of shares? Well, Excel provides a great pack of tools in order to do this. So we'll go to Goal Seek. And what we can do is we can set the number of shares, or excuse me, not the number of shares, the current weight to 12%. You can type in 0.12 for that by changing what? The number of shares. And okay and now we see the number of shares that we would have is 13.8 obviously we can't buy fractional shares so we'd round up and say okay we'd buy 14 shares and thus the number of shares to buy and or sell since we had 20 and we we're overweight we would sell approximately uh, six shares in order to get there so that's the idea of rebalancing and this is a simple rebalancing strategy that we I already created in Python and I'm going to show you today uh, other than that, just a few notes. Um, rebalancing, this is, again, just one strategy. There are many strategies you can take to rebalance, and you can rebalance over different frequencies as well. Some people do it once per year. Some people do it multiple times per year. I would say, if you're a retail investor, to keep it simple and just rebalance once or twice every year. So you could do it once every six months or once every year, maybe say around Christmas time or something like that. So that's, it's very important to rebalance, but other people have different opinions on how often you should rebalance. So let's go into Python really quick. I have Anaconda up. Um, and just, let me just get rid of this for a sec. I'm not gonna show you the dependencies at first because the data I'm using is from Quandle. So you have to sign up for Quandle in order to get their data. Um, it's free, so don't worry about it. So you're gonna need an API key. So I'm gonna run it first, and I've ran this a few times, um, and then I'm gonna show you the dependencies and what has to go up at the top. So just to give you an overview on how this is working, uh, we have our symbol inputs right here, and if you're using this script, you should uh, follow the exact same naming conventions as I'm using right now, because it's just only importing the close price from Quandle. Uh, just cleaning the symbols up after that for column names. You have to provide the allocations as well. And then later we're going to get a data frame with all that information in it. Uh, now uh, we need the weights today. So this is just a little simple loop I wrote um, to basically filter out uh, weekends. So if I'm running it like today is a Saturday, it will uh, revert back to Friday. And that's just why I did that. Um, 
so the price data as well is getting pulled in. So these are all the prior weights being calculated. Um, and then we get our equity positions and portfolio value at the end of the day as well. And now we can get our weights finally. Um, so we repeat this exact same process in the buy-in date. So we'd enter the buy-in date right here. Okay. And then this exact same process would just be repeated for the prior uh, date for the weightings. Um, and what we'll do is concatenate both of these data frames together using pandas. Um, and you're going to see this on the variable explorer when I run it. So this is uh, what you should really take home from this. This is a for loop with a while loop in it. And the reason being is because we're going to have to iterate over every single stock. If we bring this up again, we used basically an algorithm per se, or you could also use a while loop, um, but basically an algorithm, I would say, uh, to solve for the number of shares. So we're doing that exact same thing here. The only thing we're doing is iterating over multiple tickers. So this is the idea behind this. Um, and after that, we have our solved weights, and basically we're just printing all that information out, and we're just telling the user how many shares they have to buy or sell and if they're overweight or not in the individual asset. So let's run this really quickly. Okay, so we have our output. Um, it says for Adobe, we should sell four, so we're overweight. Align, we should sell 13 because we're drastically overweight and you can basically fill in the rest of the blanks right here. Uh, now, if we go to the allocation data frame, I think that's where all the information is held. Um, excuse me, all the result data frame, I'm sorry. So we have right here all the information we really need. So we have our original number of shares, current share price, current weights, weights prior, and we could format this as a percentage to make it look a little better as well. Uh, we have the status, we have the new share amount, and number to buy or sell. So again, it's just simple subtraction there. Um, original number of shares, new share amount, number to buy or sell, pretty self-explanatory, and we have an action based on that, so that's conditional. So this is the idea behind it, um, and this is a very simple, uh, way to rebalance a portfolio and it takes a little bit of time to do this and services like Quantopian uh, will have many people who have contributed to different rebalancing algorithms in order to make your life easier so I checked that out I'll link that in the description to quantopian.com and what I meant to show you too because I can't show you this API key don't make fun of my background by the way um, the API key you need to put in for Quandle and they're going to give you that when you sign up. So I'll put instructions in the description as well for that too. I think I have a video on that as well. But these are all the dependencies you're going to need as well. So just take this script, modify it however you like and you can create your own rebalancing algorithm as well over different frequencies too. So you could say, oh, I want to rebalance every 20 days or something like that. Um, and you could see and track your portfolio and see what you've done. So I might do a tutorial about that in the future as well. But that just about wraps up this tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me some feedback, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.